So now let's see how we can work around with Spectral Edit Multi-Tool inside of Blender. So in order to work around with it, I'm going to go around into file and then I'm going to import out an audio file. So I'm just going to go around and select out an audio file right here and then click on open. So you can see that I have an audio waveform right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around over here on to menu and then I'm going to click on spectrogram right here so that I can see the, uh, 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 the spectrogram just like this to work around with it. So let's say I want to remove out a uh, certain part right here. So I want to apply the knots filter in this particular part right here. So I can simply select it out. And what I can do is I can apply a uh, spect spectral edit multi tool right here. So if I were to press the space bar, this is how it sounds right now. So if you were to uh, select this part out now, and then if you want to remove this, uh, uh, a, a lo lower frequency part by using the knots filter then you can go around into edit and then you can go around into spectral edit multi mode and what happens is that it removes uh, applies the knots filter as you can see so now what happens is that you can see that this is a smooth removal and if i were to press the play button now You can see that it removes out this part. Similarly, you can select that out as well and repeat the step. So I'm going to go around and repeat spectral edit and this is how it sounds. So that is how you can remove out different frequencies by using the knots, um, um, by applying the knots filter by using the spectral edit multi-tool inside of Audacity. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.